what was Belichick like that week coming in, taking on an Eagles team that had McNabb, T.O., and a chance to do what they have a chance to do this week, which is go back to back? His entire theme was just staying patient, making sure you do your job, making sure you take care of all the little things, but also making sure that you take care of all the business the week before, making sure that you take care of your, your tickets, hotel rooms, any of that nonsense, and letting your family know that you're down here for a bigger cause. Not to hang out with them, not to go to dinner. Those things are nice, but ultimately you're here to win a Super Bowl. So that's what he told you guys, like flat out? That like, was kind of the message. Tell your loved ones. And he's it. a lot nicer now than he was back then. Yeah? He, yeah, yeah. He was very stubborn and very honorary back then. He's softened up recently. What's your indication that he has softened up, Rodney? Man, all you have to do is go, on, go into the Patriots organization and kind of look around. It's just these guys have more freedom, which is good. They have all these personal meals and nutritionists. We never had anything like that. It was just strap on the helmet and get out there and take care of business. So uh, all the stuff that apparently Tom's guy was not allowed to be brought in was brought in. I'm trying to pick up what you're putting down and try no, and square it, had, it, it with it all the stuff that's been reported. It had nothing to do with Tom. I'm just I'm just saying in general, but... um. As we speak about Tom, Tom is, he's great. And it was, it's really good to be able to communicate with him. I know he's really, really focused on this game and he wants to win this game for his legacy. So how, what do you mean for his legacy? I mean, not for him. Not, I'm, I know. Does, does he think his legacy is not cemented? I think he looks at himself as a six round draft choice. And, and he's always looked at himself as, as that. That's why he prepares. That's why he never takes anything for granted. That's why he works his butt off. And I tell you, every time I would go in there at 5 6 o'clock in the morning, he's one of the first guys in that weight room. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.